super scary ghost stories aren't for everyone. Even people who get a thrill from Halloween movies and love to curl up with frightening books about witches or vampires will get some goosebumps from these creepy tales. You may even live near one of the haunted places that inspired these stories, after all, they're set all over the country. And after reading through this roundup, you might be inspired to visit one of the spooky ghost towns talked about here. If you live on the East Coast, you'll be especially interested in the Crying Lady in the Dakota, a famous apartment building located in New York City. John Lennon himself claims he saw the ghost roaming the halls of his residence. For those living in the southern part of the United States, there are a handful of stories that originated there. Huggin' Molly, a haunted figure in Abbeville, Alabama, reportedly chases and embraces people around the town. In Eureka Springs, Arkansas, there's a property called the Crescent Hotel that's allegedly haunted by a number of ghosts. And in St. Francisville, Louisiana, a ghost named Chloe apparently haunts Myrtle's plantation to this very day. That's just a preview of the terrifying tales listed here, but there's plenty more to read. 1. Sloss Furnaces Birmingham, Alabama Birmingham, Alabama, was founded in 1871, five years after the Civil War, and with it, the need for tons of pig iron to fix America's crumbling infrastructure. To satisfy the demand, Colonel James Withers Sloss started construction on Sloss Furnaces. A way year later, the company opened its doors to hundreds of employees, according to its official website. Working on blast furnaces was an advanced job, and it was also dangerous. That danger was soon realized as many workers started being incinerated in the furnaces and falling to their deaths. Conditions only worsened in the early 1900s after a cruel foreman, James Slag Wormwood, took a job at Sloss. According to Reader's Digest, Wormwood took dangerous risks in order to increase production. As a result, nearly 50 employees died on site and many were involved in terrible accidents during his tenure. Allegedly, in retaliation, his workers tossed him into the furnace in 1906. You can still tour the grounds today, if you dare. While there, you might just hear the voice of Slag telling his employees to get back to work along with other paranormal occurrences. Sloss even hosts a fright night every year around Halloween that's based heavily on the Slag story. 2. The Crying Lady in the Dakota, New York, New York The Dakota, an apartment building in New York City, has been home to many rich and famous residents since it opened back in 1884. John Lennon and Yoko Ono moved into the building in 1973, and John was also assassinated outside the structure on December 8, 1980. Before his death, John claimed he saw a crying lady ghost roaming the halls. Then, after John died, Yoko, who still lives in the building, said she witnessed John's ghost sitting at his piano. Yoko says John told her, don't be afraid. I am still with you. 3. The Bell Witch Adams, Tennessee If you're a scary movie lover, you might actually know about The Bell Witch. The films in American Haunting and The Blair Witch Project are both based on the story. Way back in the early 1800s, a man named John Bell moved his family to an area in Tennessee called Red River, which is now known as Adams, Tennessee. After they had settled in the new home, some peculiar things started happening. The Bell family began hearing some bizarre noises, including dogs barking, chains rattling, rats chewing, and a woman whispering. Soon, that woman became known as the Bell Witch, and many people believe she's the ghost of a former neighbor of the Bells, Kate Batts. Batts and the Bells had a dispute over land, and she had sworn vengeance on the Bell family before she died. Later on, Bell died from poisoning, and it's rumored to be the work of the Bell Witch. 
4. The Ghosts of the Crescent Hotel Eureka Springs, Arkansas Spend the night in the haunted Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, which opened in 1886. During construction, a worker named Michael was killed, and his ghost reportedly still haunts room 218. The hotel came under the ownership of known medical fraud Norman Baker in 1937. Who fancied himself a doctor? He turned the hotel into the Baker Cancer Hospital, claiming to have the cure for the disease. He did not, obviously. Patients who died under his care were buried right in the hotel's basement, which served as a makeshift morgue. He was arrested in 1940, but his patients' spirits are said to still remain. Because the hotel is still open, guests often say they see apparitions and hear noises during their stays. Sci-Fi's Ghost Hunters even has footage of something moving in the basement. 5. Huggin' Molly Abbeville, Alabama It's best to stay home when the sun sets in Abbeville, Alabama, if you want to avoid Huggin' Molly's chilly embrace. As the legend goes, beginning in the early 1900s, an oversized figure clad in all black began roaming the streets at night looking for unsuspecting victims. Once she fixates on someone, she hugs the person and screams loudly into their ears. Many people have recounted stories of being chased by what they believe was Hug and Molly. Local parents have even taken advantage of the story to keep their children in line. The town embraces its nighttime warden, proudly calling itself the home of Hug and Molly. There's even a family-friendly restaurant named after her. 6. The Surrency House Ghost Surrency, Georgia The Surrency clan began experiencing paranormal activities in present-day Surrency, Georgia, in the 1870s. Family members reported witnessing objects soaring across rooms, hearing laughter and crying, and seeing red eyes staring into the house. Food was thrown from their plates and utensils twisted into unusable shapes. The townspeople speculated that these occurrences were cries for help from spirits who thought the family would be able to save them. On the day the family decided to finally leave the house, a fire iron allegedly floated up and started hitting one of the sons on the head. No one was ever brave enough to live in the house again, and the building went up in flames in 1925. 7. The Ghost of Bellamy Bridge Mariana, Florida for a taste of true haunting love, travel over this spooky bridge in Mariana, Florida, which has several ghost legends surrounding the structure, according to its official website. In the 1830s, Elizabeth Jane Croom Bellamy married local politician Dr. Samuel C. Bellamy. On their wedding night, her dress accidentally caught on fire, which covered the young bride in horrible burns. She initially survived, but eventually passed away. Elizabeth was buried along the banks of the Chipola River, and it was said that her love for her husband was so strong, she couldn't rest. The deceased newlywed, dressed in white, can allegedly be seen wandering the banks from the vantage point of the bridge, which was built after she died. It's said that she appears on fire either walking through the swamps, or diving straight into the river, as if to douse the flames, or somberly walking along the side of the river. 8. The Ghost of Deer Island Biloxi, Mississippi Back on May 20, 1922, Anthony Raguson, aka Mr. Tony, relayed this tale in a column in the Sun Herald. He writes that in the early 1800s, two fishermen spent the night on Deer Island off Biloxi's coast. They heard noises that they ignored until it became impossible to do so. When they went to see what was causing the ruckus, they claimed they found a headless skeleton that ran after the pair. They immediately made a beeline for their boat and got off the island immediately. It's said that the bony frame belongs to a pirate who had his head chopped off by his captain and his body was left behind as a ghastly guard to watch over buried treasure. 9. Zombie Road Wildwood, Missouri 
Outside of St. Louis lies Zombie Road, a hotbed of ghostly activities. There are many scary stories stemming from Lawler Ford Road, its actual name. From sightings of indigenous spirits wandering the stretch to victims of train accidents, there used to be active tracks there, like Della Hamilton McCullough, who was struck by a passing train. In the 1950s, it became a popular late night teen hangout spot, with various murders happening in the area too. It's also been rumored to be the home base of a murderer named Zombie, who escaped a mental asylum. These days, the stretch has been rechristened as a nature trail, but it's closed once night falls, with hefty fines for those who dare to trespass. 10. Dead Woman's Crossing Weatherford, Oklahoma this one's a regular murder mystery turned ghost story, according to Atlas Obscura. In the early 1900s in Weatherford, Oklahoma, Katie DeWitt James left her home with her baby after she filed for divorce from her husband. She planned to move in with her cousin, but her family never heard from her. After an investigation, it turned out that she moved in with local prostitute Franny Norton. She was last seen leaving the house with Franny and her child in a carriage. Franny returned with the child, who was covered in blood, but without Katie. Her body was found later, along a nearby creek, with her head cut off. It was rumored that her ex-husband had her killed with Franny's help, but Franny claimed she wasn't involved in Katie's death. But on the day she was supposed to be questioned by the police, she poisoned herself. Katie's still around though. She allegedly appears as a blue light floating around town, and people have reported hearing a woman looking for her baby, and the rolling sound of wheels. 11. The Myrtles Plantation St. Francisville, Louisiana Of the numerous spirits haunting this plantation, built in 1796 in St. Francisville, Louisiana, the most known entity is Chloe, according to the official website. It's said that plantation owner Clark Woodruff carried on an affair with an enslaved person, Chloe, which he ended abruptly. She began to eavesdrop on his conversation, and he caught her. As punishment, he cut her ear off. She then poisoned the rest of his family with a birthday cake, leaving him alone. The other enslaved people knew what she had done and hanged her. She supposedly still remains on the property, with a photograph from 1992 where her spirit is reportedly visible.